I wonder, as you made the film, did you become, to some degree, advocates of green energy, of clean energy, and make the film as an advocacy piece or as a descriptive piece or, or both? Well, the film first started, we, we went in a completely different direction. So we fell in love with the scientists and it was really more about them. So we went into their background, we had all this different footage and, and the type of questions that we asked were more directed for a different type of film. And, you know, it was beautiful, but it, it, it wouldn't have done anything for most people. It didn't for my son, Hunter. <laughs> we he was bored. He didn't. Guy. He couldn't deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> but Hunter, <laughs> he's right here, everybody, right <laughs> sitting there. But, but it evolved because what happened was when they did the proof of concept, which was extraordinary, I thought, and this was the whole point of it, that the government, the Department of Energy, I mean, that utility companies would come forward and then take the project on. I mean, we were at that point, and then nothing happened. And, and that's when we realized that the public doesn't even know this took place. And suddenly, this film needed to be a story to share what took place. But I would like the United States to become the leader in space-based energy. And, and so that's why I'm doing this. 